Okay, so this is uh, Reddit confession. I'm obsessed with an OnlyFans girl. Three years ago, I started following a girl on OnlyFans and I started buying from her regularly. She's just my type. Big fake tit, super cute face, mum belly. And I just buy content and videos and video chat with her regularly. I've tried to give her up before and she will tempt me back every time. She has my number and we are friends on most social media. Do I keep trying to shake her or just accept that I'm addicted? Like before before you talk, rough. I think that's like that. That fits well what we were just talking about on the podcast about like social media and like you know like the curation of it. But that's fucking mental, isn't it? That yeah. So this, we, like a false relationship can be started and just just to be drawn money down. This is where he says she has my number and we are friends on most social media. You're not friends. No. Nah. You know what he needs to watch? Um, oh, what's that film? I've forgotten the name of it now. You were telling you about that. It might be called Cam. And it's about a cat. It's like a horror movie, but it's about a cam girl who gets her identity stolen. All right, yeah. But yeah. it gives you quite an insight because I don't I legitimately I have no idea how that works, right? So I'm like, I get people people paying on OnlyFans, but I'm kind of thinking in my head they pay for like some illicit sexual video, right? Yeah, right. Or like a picture of some woman's boobs or something like that, right? But that's shows you that actually what is most common is that like when cam girls exist, and people do that, they have like a, a clientele, right? That come back every week and they come back because they think there's some connection. So the cam girl will say like, oh. How's it going, stud, or whatever? And so they feel at some level kind of, uh, you know, validated. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, get the fuck off it, man. No? Like, what What are you doing? If I had to... Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to, people to say, oh, you're being judgmental. If you want to pay for, like, people doing stuff on OnlyFans, like, I, be my guest. But you can't be under the illusion that it's, like, some kind of real... Like a two-way relationship. Yeah, but the wood, like, because, I mean, you've seen how, like, how weird your DMs can get. We've seen it on the podcast. There's been some weird DMs come in from, like, some extreme... Um, sort of fans as, as, for want of another word so you, like in that sense you're sort of the creator is promoting uh, it's almost like stalking isn't it, in a way it's yeah. like, but you're like you, you're promoting to be stalked because you're, just, you're getting paid for it I think which the, is fucking terrifying so weird no but the issue there is that like the per, I think the response well, I don't know where the responsibility lies right but if you're paying somebody you they're, they're getting money out of you, right? Mm. So it's the, it's only like a salesman. So they're, they're vested. It's like when you call fucking Sky to cancel your subscription. Like, oh, we'll give you Sky Sports for free for three months. You know, you know you're being played. So like, you know that their motivation is not that they like you. They value you as a customer. They just want your money. So like, can't you just, can, can you not just extricate yourself from the situation and mm. say like, I don't want to pay this person this money. It's not really doing me any good. The porn on do you no good, lad. And <laughs> so just think, leave it. I'll go spend that on breaking... Be a patron. <laughs> there, just like you probably spend less money, although probably don't get quite as good content. I don't know. We could get naked for one if you want. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> We've talked about that before. I think. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know, man. I think if money were no object, so like I, I don't know how much it costs to do OnlyFans or to get to. I don't know how much you'd spend. I think there's tears to it, probably. I I asked somebody. Like, they told me and I've forgotten now, but I I thought it was like maybe I don't know why I thought this, but I thought maybe it's like everyone charges like a similar amount. And you, you, your success depends on how many like buyers yeah. you've got, but you can. I think it might be more like cameo or something like you can set an amount, right? And people just buy it. So I, I imagine like I think between so. like only I bet like you the top earners on OnlyFans are probably doing millions, right? You would imagine, and then I bet there'll be people that basically put all these videos of themselves on the internet for like I don't know, fifteen quid a month or something. And mm. I can't, you know what I mean? So I think there's such a huge disparity. Probably not dissimilar from YouTube, really. Like the the bot, the lower yeah, end, yeah, yeah. And the, like the Mr Beast end. But like, I, th- I feel like, is it not, I mean, we're getting into just OnlyFans in general now, but like, I feel like I'd want a certain amount per month to reveal those aspects of myself. Yeah. That makes sense. Because everyone can screen record and shit, can't they? I don't like, understand how it's, how OnlyFans has taken off the way it has and it's so successful and people are making so much money on it. Because it's like, I mean, if you relate it to like music, like people don't really buy music as much anymore. My understanding is though, like it sounds like back in the day, like porn studios were the ones that were making money, then they'd pay a rate, like a day rate yeah. to these actors to come in and do the deed. But the studio would make all the money. So I guess OnlyFans is putting the money back in the hands of the people that have got the kit off. I know, but there's still <laughs> porn being made. Yeah, but they're getting like a revenue share. So it's like YouTube, isn't it? And a lot of OnlyFans models do porn as well. Yeah. Do you know Mike didn't believe me when I told him that I didn't watch porn? Do you see that in the chat? <laughs> What's up to you, Sorry, it? it's got a bit of not in the top of my yeah. thing. <laughs> You know, he, he legitimately says, oh, no, lad, I'm not buying that piece. Everyone watches it now and then. I'm like, no. I don't know, but I'm like, I'm no judgment. Yeah, you are like probably the few and far between there. Yeah, like, no, I realise. All, yeah. my, all, my, all my mates are like, oh, you're fucking weird, you, mate. I'm like, 
I don't fucking give a shit. Like, I don't think much good can come from watching porn. No, the, the, all the studies, I'm not judging. If you want to watch it, watch it, man. I, couldn't, yeah. I couldn't, don't give a shit about anyone else. But if you look at like a lot of the studies done about like its effect on A, your own sexual performance, mm. your own sexual appetites, it has a detrimental effect to a lot of people's yeah. personal sex lives. And I don't like the idea of like the objectification <laughs> of women. I don't give a fuck if people think that makes me sound like a fanny or whatever. <laughs> like I, it's a lot of pornography is built around like Terry Crews, you know Terry Crews, the actor? Yeah, he was a sex like, addict on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. a porn addict. All and right. So like, it, it's, but he's married, right? He yeah. was married. And so like, his wife's not doing anything wrong, but she feels dissatisfied because he's watching ever more extreme things because it doesn't have the same effects anymore. So what, maybe yeah. you watch like two girls to go, oh, that's a bit bit different. And then it's like somebody being like smacked, and somebody yeah. being choked, somebody being garroted. Like, what the fuck's garroted? You know, like st- strangled with rope. All right, okay. Um, stuff like that. Garroted, yeah. Garroted. But anyway. Like, I, I'm not, I don't want to come across as like a prude. Do what the fuck you want with your life. I reckon I, Terry Crews with that full like of fucking it. gear that his testosterone were through the roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I reckon Terry Crews is natural, you know. When I look at, no, look at his body. <laughs> if you look at his Off. body, I, I genuinely think, I don't I don't know it is, yeah. but he, he certainly wouldn't be top of my list for people that are on uh, anabolic steroids. If you look at his, uh, if you, no, he doesn't what? have like any of the like the key markers. He's he's reasonably lean, but not like mega shredded. He has mus- He's well. He's very in shape, but he doesn't have like unusual muscular development. Right. He doesn't have like particularly large traps and shoulders re- relative to his waist size. I I, I could believe that he's natural. I wouldn't. He wouldn't be the top of my list for people that are definitely on gear. <laughs>